the HR profession, we had a ton of people who sort of found their way into HR. They weren't professionals. They didn't know the body of work, the, the, the body of work that is HR. It's a real profession. So just because people called themselves HR professionals did not mean they were competent to practice HR, especially in a knowledge-based economy. It's complex, it's complicated, it's nuanced. And so therefore we need people who are competent first and, most, and, and importantly. Secondly though, it's not enough to just be competent. You've got to have a relationship with your executive team. The executives, for all that you are, as smart as you are, if they don't understand you and understand that you understand them, if they don't have a business relationship with you, then no matter how competent you are, you won't be successful. And then finally, it's courage. Now, we do talk about competency, of course. Then you've got to have the courage to do what you do. And that means having those tough conversations with business leaders about their human capital management. It is incredibly important. Those three elements we have found across the globe, Sherm researches this, those are the three things that make for a very strong HR professional. So ultimately, employees need to be more productive, more efficient, and more effective in their jobs. AI helps you achieve all of that, but you'll only get the benefits of AI if the employees actually know what the tool is, know how to use it, and we as companies encourage it and reward people who use AI in their day-to-day -day practice.